Welcome to the Arab world of the 22nd century. We're called Arabs, but we speak English at home and in school. Arabic, as part of our educational curricula, is taught as an elective and is considered a second language. Its sole practical use is when performing any of our religious duties. Stories and legends of old are extinct and forgotten. Traditions of folkloric music and dance have vanished into oblivion. The value of original and contemporary Arab literature has disintegrated into irrelevance. We don't look any different to anyone out of Europe or the Americas when it comes to how we dress or express. The memory banks of our collective culture have been wiped clean and reinstalled with Western ideology, behavior, and individuality. We consume and import the ways and expressions of outsiders, only to then believe that they are our own. An identity that was formulated and reinvented over many millennia has now been lost forever, after the elapse of a single century. Culture in Arab antiquity was never about tradition, the arts, or a reflection of what a specific society considered unique about their personal existence. No, the concept of culture for the Arabs of old and its importance in society was solely about behavior and in more detail, about how human beings are meant to be founded on honesty and genuineness, meant for balance, and conditioned for a life characterized by wittiness, intelligence, and shrewdness. This was the true meaning of culture for the Arab world. How a human being can be shaped and prepared into a version of themselves that was of strong ethical and moral foundation, and as an extension to this basic yet critical principle, further traits that made Arabs Arabs took form over the next millennia. These included language, religion, philosophy, science, traditions, heritage, literature, and many other aspects that constituted a people's culture. How did we lose all these various components that shaped our identity and culture? In looking at our present, several areas for concern reveal themselves and can be attributed as the cause to our culture's downfall. A main culprit is globalism and its invasive nature that is putting into question the survivability of our Arab persona. But when looking in more detail, we discover that invasion of foreign cultures is not the main source of our anxiety. The self-inflicted causes are far more disturbing. Arabs study their language in its classical form. The only outlet for this form is when producing literature, processing formal correspondence, conveying the news, and when practicing the Islamic faith. It is not the form for daily life communication. And here is where the problem lies. Our relationship to our own language is held captive by formality, its rigidity, and regardless of how beautiful and expressive one can be with it, our tongues are emotionally tied because it is inherently a difficult language to command. Our educational system has failed us for many decades now. It is simply archaic and requiring a total overhaul. Memorization over conceptual understanding in all focus areas reduces the Arab youth's mind from a processor of ideas and data to a standard one-dimensional memory bank. It's simply not a fun experience to study Arabic in its current structure and curriculum. No one will tell you otherwise. Upon embarking on the age of smart devices, a new challenge became real towards the preservation and survivability of the Arabic culture. Learning and life lesson giving were not taking place at homes or in classrooms. They now had a new medium for their delivery, one that was accessible by the touch of a finger. An overload of foreign content overtook our lives. It wasn't a fair fight. Arabic content was primitive in its development, underserved in its abundance, and weak in its attention-grabbing abilities. But how can we overcome these various challenges? Can we fix us before it's too late? The answer is a definite yes, but the solutions come with difficulty as they're pushing against powerful momentum. Decentralize the Arabic language. Move away from using a strict language for the whole Arabian population. Allow each people to learn, express, and create using their own form of colloquial Arabic, thereby reconnecting them with their own personal emotions, experiences, and expressive journeys that make them unique. Reinvent the education process by moving away from the limitation of creativity and the ability to challenge what is being communicated, consequently freeing students' minds and allowing for innovative and unconventional thinking. 
except that the Arab world is lacking in the creation of digital content. By investing heavily in the preservation, retelling, and reintroduction of the wealth of Arab heritage, as well as the creation of new content that would reflect the elements and values of the modern Arab identity, such a strategy can lead to a more open assimilation of this content by our younger generations. In order for us to get back on track in preserving who we are, we must evolve. Evolution would mean demanding yet necessary changes and with it comes the avoidance of the extinction of our culture. We must introduce a new appeal that reconnects the Arab people to their identity and establish a reinvented pride towards their culture. For many centuries, the Arab culture was valued by the rest of the world. The reality now is that it is less valued by its own people. And if nothing is done to alleviate this danger, then we will be on a one-way path to becoming a sterilized version of who we once were. A civilization of humanity, a nation of pride, and a people of wisdom.